Hello there, Iggy here with another video for you where we talk about two rated legend of uh, Laura Croft. So before I start, make sure you hit that like subscribe, I really appreciate it. So let's get to the review, shall we? I don't know growing up playing the original two rated on PlayStation, uh bring back a lot of memories. I know there's the remake which is coming out right um, it's out right now, the trilogy. So then fast forward to 2013, it was a reboot. You know, it changed the, it changed the whole way uh, Lord, how to view Laura Crawl and her backstory, and etc. Which this show does does very well. It also the same company who does uh, Castlevania, which they did a really good job. And I got pretty games, but you know where uh, Laura Croft is on two red teeth. Pretty much, uh, Tomb Raider is based, is based on the prote female protagonist, Lorca, who finds treasure. Also, she's rich, and her, her dad, is, you know, he's very wealthy, he's a very wealthy archaeologist, of course, and, you know, she's heavily influenced by uh, Indiana Jones, basically. I gotta say this before I get to the, my, my thoughts on the whole show. We need an Uncharted anime series. We do, but I know we got, I know we got a movie, but uh, I went too far in the movie. Anyways, let's get right to it. Uh, first couple of episodes, we get to see Laura Croft, you know, she's go to, I guess she goes to South America to find uh, a, pearl, a pearl store, which is inside a box. Uh, she, she um, with her mentor um, named Rohan, guess, it, guess that's his name. They, we, we, they went on an expedition together to find it. And afterwards, you know, she done her her mission. She went back home because she had she had regrets. And yo, know how he um, got out alive, and she felt regret. That's what she, and that's of course the series that she felt reg regret that oh, I should could save him or it was me. I didn't want to cause someone's death. I, I said that's I, in the front episode. I said it felt kind of off for some reason. I guess it was a flashback or something. And I know they show Sam and um, uh, I've, got, I've got the uh, the big Hawaiian guy there. I'm the, I think it's um, Johan, I'm guessing. She's with, uh, with him and, and the others, if you have played the reboot that is. Now she's back home, she's trying to sell everything that her father has. Cause she want to burn it, she said she want to burn it all cause she want to think about the past. The man antagonist, Charles Debbie Do, I guess I'm saying the name right. He uh, won one of the, um, the Pearl Stones. He, he, he got the, the red wall. Well, he actually had the green, which um, can brainwash you. And then there's a butter sister box. And I like how they had um, they explained the history about it. I, I, I like her personality though. She does have a sense of humor and she has a knack for fighting things, for thievery, sometimes thievery that. A little bit of Cabo San Diego, a little, just a little bit. And her her, her friend, Zip, I, I like him. He, and also, she has a uh, best friend. I've got her name, I think they could be lovers. I'm just saying, I, I feel LGBT elements going on with this up to, just saying. And they you know they go to China, they go to, I think they go to South America, they go to Paris, and different other parts of the world to, to find information about the, the Pearl Stones, which it calls Catastrophe, you know, called destruction. But overall, I'm, I'm digging the animation. Very beautiful. And people say it's, um, I know IGN gave it a five out of ten, which uh, I, I, I think it's like a seven out of ten for me. But you have to play the game if you want. Are you new to Tomb Raider? You can just enjoy it. Or if you have played the game, then you'll you'll see some elements in there. I know it's coming the second season. Also, they have. Laura with the two pistols from the original, and they are they I touch up on that on a reboot, so there's no straight. There's no. I'm, I'm not surprised. Just keep it that way. I'm not. Home for season two. I can't wait. The, the story is just it's definitely straightforward. You know, Laura comes on a journey to find the pearl stones, and one of her um, companions get out missing, not alive, but missing, but later on brainwashed by Charles. And know, uh, sometimes Laura struggles with language barriers, you know, she has, luckily Johan, I guess that's his name, um, helps her throughout the, in, in, in any other way. But I, I'm, I'm glad I watched this. I might get back on playing the games again. This is it, and thank you for supporting my channel, really appreciate it, and goodbye.